Gentlemen, this crawler right here has got the Power Hobby chassis. Enjoy. Chassis, they're kind of the same thing. However, it's got a 10-2 Raw Builders kit in it. Guess what? They don't make that kit anymore. So if you find one, buy it. Okay. Now, tires. 3.93 inch Tusk tires by J Concepts. That's what's going on in this thing. So we're going to downsize that and see if this thing can perform. Let's get to the table. Got a lot to show you. Here we go. The first thing I want to show you is I've cut the chassis. I cut the tops off the back. So I have full compression here. Everything fits with the body. I don't have to cut the body or anything like that. The front, I also trim the uh, shock towers because these shock towers kind of come way back to here. I was just taking up too much real estate with the body, wanting to get the body to sit down low. So I trim those as well. Uh, Drav tech shocks up front. Stock 10-2 shocks on the back. A long plastic rear drive shaft is on here. The reason this survives is because the vehicle is lightweight. If this was a heavy vehicle, seven or eight pounds, this right here would pop. There's no doubt in my mind that would not survive. The front drive shaft is a little short Vitavon drive shaft. Yep, Vitavon's got some little bitty short ones there. Um, but uh, that's pretty much the drive line right there. Everything seems to run pretty darn good. Got tons of slip. So, yep, there's that. The ESE is a Crawlmaster Mini V2 with a 380 size 2000 kV um, revolver motor right there by Holmes. That is a seriously underrated little motor, guys. That thing is awesome. Servo is also by Holmes, BLS SHV650. Look at that. But the star of the show are these little bitty tusk tires right here. Now these are the 3.93 class one tires by J Concepts. The wheels are actually the pro build wheels by Boom Racing. Yep, so it's got pro build wheels, little 3.93 tires, uh, got the stock foams in them. I haven't done any kind of insert or anything like that. So, and that's pretty much it. I mean, obviously J Concepts creep body that I had to really get crazy with on the cut so I could get on my turn. Not a fan of that cut, but I kind of had to do it. Okay, let's give this class one a drive. <laughs> now, this thing being kind of like a belly dragger, uh, it's kind of a super low center of gravity, but as long as it can clear everything, it'll make it, look at that. Nice. Look at that, dropping right down Crowley. Oh, this is actually pretty neat. Come on, little Tuskegees. Wow, it is very stable. Doesn't quite have the traction though to get up on this. You get that front end to go over. Maybe I can get a little bit of a pull here. All right, I'm up on it. Now can the skid make it? Oh, it's trying. Got it. Holy moly. This is not, okay, now, 3.93 tires, straight axles. Am I gonna have some axle clearance issues? Of course. But I'm already impressed. Oh, see, there's an axle clearance issue. All right. Man. This thing is kind of on the crazy side. Look at that. I kind of like this. I know it sounds crazy, but I kind of like the way this thing is handling. These small tires, super easy to turn, super easy to manipulate. I don't have the, quite the speed to really flip it right here with the servo. Stability looks good. Tusk are some of the best tires you can get too. Look at that. 
Belly clearance can be an issue though. Oh. One thing's for sure though. Oh, there we go. Man, this thing is stupid stable. Holy cow. Okay, this thing is way more awesome than I thought. Let's try some action right here. Here's, there should be some good diff hangers right here. Just gotta watch where you're going. Look at that, you can see the belly all up into it. This might be the worst part. And I guess you could put these on a portal axle truck and probably be good to go, right? All right. How about some cliffhanger action? And of course, I'm gonna put this across Gap of Doom. I like to one shot this thing. Looks like it's trying, but I don't think that back end is gonna rotate around. It's still up on that. The tire is in the air on the front. All right, so one reverse. Man. <laughs> Man, it hasn't went over yet. I, I think I got it. That front is gonna settle down, settle down, settle down. Look at that, woo! Okay, these tires have been ultra impressive on this thing. I might have to try them on a uh, portal axle truck. So if I can get some of the axle clearance back. If I can get some axle clearance out of them. These things don't want to slide very well. These tusks are a really good tire. Oh, hung up on the transmission on that rock. Now we got to see if we can get through the crack of doom. The crack of doom. Let's see here. Oh, I'm up into the bumper. I can get this right here. Pull up. See what it is, you know, the tires being smaller, they don't stick out as far in front. So, got to get that, see the whole body and everything is underneath the edge. And the back end is still very high. And these tires just don't want to. There we go. The back end's coming down a little bit now. All right, got that up. Okay, I'm actually in really good position with the back tire on that little nub down there. That usually sets me up pretty good, just like that. Now I've got to get out of this. See if I can make the pull. I'm, I'm impressed. This is awesome. You know, I might run these tires in my class two comp, just for the heck of it, just to see everybody's faces. And if I happen to place, oh, smack talking will commence. A little bit further to the left than what I typically run on that line. Here we go. Oh. A little bit of torque twist kind of got me there. There we go. Oh. Bring it back a little bit. Oh. That was right on edge. Got it though. One final bump, we're going up hopper. Got it. All right, fine. I'll do my traditional route through here. 
Dude, these things are working great on this truck. Now that was my fault there. Let's see if I can correct this. Get that back to fall, there we go. Gotcha. Yep, I found my new class one legal truck, right? You get, this, uh, this would pass Sorka, wouldn't it? <laughs> no, I don't care about Sorka on this thing. But this right here, the tires did great. There were a few spots where the low clearance of the axles, that's to be expected, right? 3.93 tires. Otherwise, this thing was stupid stable. Stupid stable, it got pretty much everything I aimed it at. Um, it even got Crowley, which it was incredibly stable on Crowley. Sitting there spinning tires, popping wheelies. It was that stable, so that's awesome there. Um, the tires being a little bit small, kind of made it hard to get past Cracker Doom, but it made it. Took a few tries to get everything positioned, but it did it. So I'm happy. Um, I'm actually really surprised at how well it did with the small tires. I may even try some 4.19s on this and actually take it to when we do the winter series, actually run it like that. I think it may actually be pretty darn awesome, but eh, time will tell. Guys, hopefully you enjoyed the video. I'll link up the tires, the wheels, uh, the chassis, all that stuff down below. Use those links, hit that subscribe, ring that bell, and you know what? Uh, stay tuned, this thing's awesome. Maybe I should try some 2.2s on it now. Nah, that's too much. Guys, thank you all for watching. If you're still watching, you are top shelf. You are the cream of the crop, the pick of the litter. You are phenomenal. Thank you for watching to the end of the video. It means a lot to me. Now, down below, there are links for the products you see. Also, for channel memberships, if you guys want to be a part. Channel members get early viewing on pretty much everything that I can. So, guys, check that description. There's a lot of info down there. Thank you all for watching.